channel and as you guys can see I got my eyelashes done and my nails done to start off with my lashes I was so happy with my lashes and everything I get there I'm telling her like and this is the same person that I went to for my birthday lashes because I really really liked her her vibe and everything was really good and yeah she's like so sweet like really nice and so I'm telling her like because remember I told you like I'm shy and I don't really like filming in front of people and stuff because I don't want people to be looking at me crazy like why is she filming me so I told her like you know I'm on this content creating journey and I really like you know want to vlog me getting my lashes done I pull out my camera and everything and I start recording why is there no sim card in my freaking camera like so, so anyways so yeah I'm just like sitting there like we're both just like well you how you gonna film with no fucking sim card so that footage that y'all seen was on my phone because i didn't have my sim card and i was really pissed off because i really wanted to get like really good like quality and everything but i mean to me my phone is still good quality because remember i told you like i just got my camera for my birthday and every all my other vlogs were all on my phone so yeah as i'm walking down the stairs from because she lives on in an apartment her apartment is really nice and everything like she lives in an apartment and as i'm walking down the freaking stairs my clumsy stupid ass falls off like the stairs like i had two more stairs left i wasn't paying attention i was on the phone with jacob talking to jacob because jacob was parked around the corner because um he went to the mall and so he was telling me that he was outside so i was coming down the stairs I missed two fucking stairs and I fell hard as hell like like I was in so much pain like I was crying and everything like it was just ridiculous and so now I got a big ass bruise on my freaking leg and it hurt so bad like and when I fell like I instantly was just like scared because I was thinking about the baby but at the same time I was in so much pain and I just had I literally just sat there on the floor for like about a good couple seconds because I was just like in so much shock like I was just so scared because I was just like how the hell did you just do that and like dang and so I'm just thinking like man but I caught myself I didn't fall on my stomach or anything but I'm just like man when I go to her in the next two weeks for my feel, I'm literally going to be counting the stairs and looking down, like not about to be looking up. And it's so weird because we have stairs in our house and I never fell down the stairs before. But I think it's because, like, you know, you're used to your house stairs. I'm not used to her stairs at her house. Oh, just a fucking mess. Just a mess. Really, really just a mess. I did my uh, lashes so nice. Like, so cute. So... Hold on, y'all, so y'all can see them. So, yeah, no, I just got Wispy Hybrid again, y'all. So, yep, that's what I got. Like, I remember I told y'all, I tell her to do them a little bit. Ooh, damn, hold on, let me put. 
I told her to do them a little bit full because y'all know that my eyelashes be falling out. And if they fall out, I'm going to end up picking at them and I don't want that. So that's why I really just tell her to do them full. So, because she was just telling me like how my retention and everything was so good. And I was like, girl, yes, that's why I was asking you. Did I need a fill? Because, and that's another reason why I like her. Because if I go to anybody else, my lashes would have been fell out by now. And it's only been two weeks. But with her, I still had so many lashes on my eyes. Like, she was just like, do you still have any lashes on before she seen me? And she was like, you have a lot left. And my fill only really took, like, an hour and 20 minutes. Because I still had so many lashes on after two weeks. And I don't think she expected that. Because my appointment was supposed to take, like, an hour and 50 minutes or something like that. I don't know. I'm happy that I wore my lace band to my appointment because my lace was looking rusty crusty and just crazy and she was taking content pictures and stuff and she was not about to have me on her page with no crusty lace like girl i had to lay this down and i was just scared that it wasn't going to be like laid down enough by the time of my appointment so i just left it on called it a day threw on a black shirt so i can match whatever had the cheetah print going and called it a day. I went to my nail appointment. I was mad because the girl that I wanted to go to, she was um, she was booked or whatever. And they said it was going to take like 30 minutes. And I didn't really want to wait 30 minutes. Because I know like when Jacob's done with his pedicure and stuff, he don't be wanting to wait that long. And I don't be wanting to wait that long. So I was just like, whatever. I'm going to just try this new girl that I went to and although she didn't do really what I wanted her to do because y'all know I'm a French tip girly and she didn't give me French tip I don't know if she heard me when I said I wanted French tip and pearls but she only gave me pearls no French tip and I'm just like where is my French tip at but by the time I was looking at like what she was doing like even though she right in front of me I was literally like watching YouTube on my phone and I was looking down so by the time she was doing what she was doing, I was like, okay, whatever. But they were still, they still came out cute. So, just like, it's a little classy. I like it. They still came out cute. So, that's why I still, like, was okay. And I still tipped her and everything. So, I was like, whatever. But, yeah, I know. Next time, I just gotta get my French tip back on. But, yeah, pretty much, y'all, that's how my day went. It was kind of hectic. But, it was still okay. Because I was still satisfied with... The outcome of my lashes and me falling and my nails and her not doing them right like I was still satisfied so I was like whatever still a good day so yeah now I'm about to just do some homework but I had to come on here and start this vlog I'm thinking that I'm gonna do this as the visual diaries because I never did a visual diaries before and I really want to just try that series so yeah that's what we're gonna do then tomorrow I have a um, braces appointment or orthodontist appointment, same thing, at I think it's 7.35, that is so early, and it's my day off tomorrow, so I'm kind of sad that I had to schedule it that early, but that was the only day that they had, so I just went ahead and just scheduled it because this is a reschedule, so I wasn't going to reschedule it twice because it's like these, um, what's this called? This bar and these brackets need to come off. Like, I need a new color. I'm tired of this pink. And on top of that, they need to change my wires because it's time. And I already had a reschedule, so I'm not going to reschedule it again. That's just crazy. I got my eyebrows waxed. I haven't had my eyebrows waxed since, like, February. And they look so good. Like, they look so good. And it's so funny because Jacob had the nerve to tell me in the nail shop... That your eyebrows are tattooed, so what are they waxing? Like, what are you talking about? They still grow out, so yeah, no, y'all can see the difference. I know y'all can see it. There's no hair, it looks so good. I haven't got them waxing so long, and she was waxing them while I was getting my um nails done. So, shout out to Tina at Nail It because girl, you did your thing. Because I really thought she was gonna mess up the girl that was gonna mess up my nails because tina was trying to do my eyebrows like who does that at the same time that, everything came out pretty good today so yeah i'm gonna do some homework and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner because we pretty much ate everything i need to finish um i need to finish editing this vlog 
that is going to be up way before this vlog is even up. So, yeah, then I got to start another vlog. I got to start editing another vlog that I was filming. I'm telling y'all, it's good to like keep videos so you can always have something to post and everything. So that's why I always have something to post because I'm always filming. Like, it's the best. Like, once the video drop, you already got another video coming because it's already ready. I totally forgot to show y'all the bruise, the big ass bruise that is on my leg from when I fell. Hold on, let me flip this camera around. So I really got offended when my mom told me that being lighter, you like your scars show more, but it's very true. Like, because I'm just, this is like gonna be on me forever unless I use some cocoa butter, but I don't like the smell of cocoa butter, honestly. So that's why literally all the scents, like even lotion, like lotion, um, body wash and stuff. I never get like shea butter, cocoa butter and stuff like that, like in that scent to vanilla-y because I don't like that smell. I never have. I'm more like a floral type of person, like flowers and stuff. So I don't even know if I'm going to use the cocoa butter, but I might use the um bio oil that i have because that works pretty good and i use that for my stomach so i don't really have too many stretch marks so i might just use that because i just know it's definitely going to leave a bruise so i still have bruises on my leg from when i was like a kid because they just my legs are so light so yeah i'm probably just gonna have to use that because i still got a whole bottle of it and that bottle was like $23 like bio oil is really expensive so I might as well use it for a good cause right, y'all here it is I'm about to put the flash on it so y'all could really see do y'all see that it's like I know y'all see that big ass mark right there that's crazy like insane for hi welcome to Chick fil A can I get yes alrighty what can I get started for you I'm finally back from the orthodontist and I got, um, what did I get? Like teal blue type, like, like baby blue. And then we went to Chick-fil-A. And it's really good. I got a spicy, what's that called? I got a spicy biscuit sandwich and it's actually pretty good. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Because normally... I get the regular kind and Jacob gets the spicy one and I want to try the spicy one but it's actually really good but now we're about to take a nap so I'm gonna talk to y'all when we get it
So it is obviously the next day. Um, last thing y'all seen was me um, getting my hair done. And this is how it came out. I just got Shmido Knotless. Um, yeah, I got Shmido Knotless. They're really cute. The curls aren't the way that I wanted them. And I'll explain all that when I get back because I'm like kind of in a rush to go to the hospital because we are 27 weeks and it's getting closer to that time. So we gotta take our gestational diabetes glucose test. Hopefully it's going it's gonna be okay because I've heard so many mixed reviews on it and I'm just like nervous. I don't wanna throw up. I'm just nervous. So yeah, no me and Jacob, we're about to go do that. I'm gonna to talk to y'all when I get there so y'all can see how it's going. But I know I haven't really been talking that much in this vlog, but still, I'm going to talk to y'all when I get back about like what's going to be in this vlog. Because I'm so excited because this is my first vlog like this. And I'm going to show y'all like what direction I'm moving in towards this series. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm going to talk to y'all when I get to the hospital. It is hot as hell. It really tastes like orange fanta, like if I was to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Y'all, this shit is actually good. Of course, it's been like two days since y'all heard from me. I think the last I was... Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was doing my glucose test. And I told y'all that I was going to come back and talk to y'all. But it was just like hot, overwhelming. I was doing too much stuff. But right now it's currently 5.38. And I told y'all that I was going to come back and talk to y'all. So we got to sit down and talk for a little bit before I got to do what I got to do. World to the story was is that drink that they tried to scare me about wasn't even nasty it tastes like if i went to mcdonald's and got me a freaking fanta like the tiktok girlies was really trying to scare me and i was just like when i first drank it even when i smelled it it was not nasty and i was just like, be fucking for real y'all why was y'all lying to me so yeah i literally drank it one or two minutes and i was and i had five minutes and to do it within that time period it was whatever i took it like a g i think that i passed because i got my results um from kaiser yesterday um and i looked it up i don't know it just said like a 140 something i think you're not supposed to be over 190 so it was like a 140 was really really good because i'm like dang i already knew that i didn't have gestational diabetes or anything because like i i mean they said that that could happen to almost anybody but i'm like i don't I be having a sweet tooth, but I don't eat like sugar. I don't drink soda. I don't drink stuff like that. So it was whatever. And back to my hair. So yeah, I did get my hair done, y'all. Y'all seen earlier in the vlog, and I didn't touch bases with that yet. So I really, really, I do love my hair. I mean, as y'all can see, it's I got schmedium. Sorry, my edges are not done, and don't look at them because I was braiding hair today and we're about to go somewhere i was in the process of getting ready but then i i was realizing like i didn't did not come back and talk to y'all so i was like oh shit let me come on here and talk to y'all real quick i got um i got shoulder length schmedium knotless honestly they kind of look like my small because y'all know i do hair so it looks like my small but i'm like really happy because i'm like i'm gonna keep these in until my baby shower next month in september I keep saying next month it's only july 31st tomorrow is august but yeah i'm gonna keep these in until it's almost time for my baby shower because i don't want to do my hair and it's summertime so i don't really care and they're smaller so they'll last a little little longer 
but yeah moral to the story is y'all see how my curls are like it's barely any curls and i asked for curls i don't know i don't know she i personally i do rod curls when i do curly ends because they last longer and the way that it looks like they're actually like curls like you could tell but the way that she does the curls they're um she does them like handmade curls i don't know i i feel like i've seen that before like on instagram like when like the um well like the african braidery shop does it like that but i don't know i just didn't really expect her even though i seen it on there i never actually seen people do it so i thought she was gonna do the rock curls but she didn't and so it turned out like the curls obviously aren't there no more so but yeah no this i'm gonna show you all how i want it my curls to be these are how i do curls so i wanted my curls to be can y'all see it like that but obviously i got like wavy stragglies i mean it's still cute she still did her thing like i would definitely go back to her but i think i'll probably like tell her to dip it regular so i could go home and do the rock curls because i wouldn't want her to do something that she doesn't have on her service because i don't see rock curls it only says handmade curls but i'm still satisfied like her work everything is still good so I was like, whatever. I was really happy. You know, she has a really nice vibe and everything. Um, it took about, she does take a little longer than me. So I was getting like really fidgety. Like, you know, like when it's time to get your hair done and you just like, mm -mm, find somebody else to do it. I really just wanted to take my head off and give it to her because it was like, man. Because normally for shoulder length, I only take like, I don't know like five and a half hours but for her it took her like seven but i have to remember that i do i braid every day so i build my speed up every time i braid everybody's not like that so i've been braiding for so long too so it's like i don't know you know everybody braids different i was really satisfied though like i really love my hair I'm definitely gonna go back to her before i have this baby because we're not we're not gonna be looking ugly during labor that that's just a no-no but yeah so yeah that's how my hair turned out it's like about right here um i don't know later on this vlog y'all might see it down i don't really wear my hair down too much when i have braids because i'm like more of like a up type of person like up updo hairstyles type of person so yeah and sorry for the whining in the background that's my baby cousin he he cries when he doesn't get his way. He's only one. And normally, when gra he don't get his way with grandma, he try to come to me. But he don't know that I'm in here because I don't want him to be in here right now. But yeah, no, I finally figured out what my visual diaries. And I know y'all probably like, dang, it's already halfway through the vlog. And you just now telling us what your visual diaries is going to be about. So, I'm thinking about starting this series like i told y'all i wanted to, i want to do i want to put up a new video towards my visual diaries every single month regarding like a monthly reset and like getting my life together and everything and like just you know maintenance and all that so i think that's what i'm gonna make this series about and i'm really excited because it's like i see a lot of visual diaries and i really love it and it just seems like it's more so into tapping into yourself and that's what i want to make this vlog about like maintenance resetting just everything so with that being said y'all i'm so happy because i don't know if y'all the real supporters y'all was looking at my last vlog y'all guess what came in the mail guess what came in the mail my freaking license okay it's ugly i'm not going to show y'all exactly and my address and everything's on here and you know all the all the stuff that y'all don't need to see <laughs> but yeah no it it came in the mail and i just really don't like this picture i look like a little ass kid like it just like uh but it's whatever because when we turn 21 next year we're about to get that we're about to be slamming that id on the table I'm so excited because I wanted to try this new because remember I told y'all like I'm really trying to tap into my skincare and everything and I've just been trying out like new stuff and everything because like right now it's really doing okay y'all but if you look up like really close I still have a lot of dark marks and blemishes so I ordered from this um 
order from this small business that I seen on TikTok and then on Instagram. And you know, I did my research and everything because you know, nowadays people be scamming. And you're not about to get my money trying to scam me, okay? We're not doing that. But anyways, yeah, so, um, basically she has like this, uh, her little postcards and everything are so cute. But it's, uh, she's, it says, made for women, organic, clean, and beauty. So, her name is Mahalia, and she comes out with like products for like skincare and everything, like from like natural stuff like not like process and everything and so from her I ordered a um let me show y'all it came in cute i mean like this is just you know take out all the paper and stuff but i got a um i got a brightening wash that you can use for your face and your body wash and the whole point of why i got this one so it, it looks like this like and it's a really good size because you don't even need that much for you to, you know, like, when you rub it together on your hands, you really don't need that much. So, I got me a brightening wash because even though, like, my skin has brightened up so much. And it's almost the end of summer and I have not been outside. I do not go outside. I am not an outside person. Like, I like to go to the beach and stuff, but I'm not, like, party. Like, I don't, I don't do that. So, yeah, I'm still pretty, still pretty light. I have not got darker from being in the sun and it's being summertime so this is not going to take too much to brighten my skin up. I just want to brighten up my neck, like my elbows and everything, like everything that's dark on my body. I want it to be one tone. I want to be one complexion. One. And on top of that, I noticed that since I got um, pregnant, my neck has been getting a little dark. <clears throat> And that's not cute. I don't want nobody looking in back of me. And you know, a lot of people talk mess. I don't want nobody looking in back of me. And they're like, why are our necks so dark? Because then I'm going to be fighting. And I don't want to be fighting. And on top of that, I do want... Ugh, I've been craving a freaking tattoo and a piercing ever since I've been pregnant. Ever since I started getting tattoos and stuff... It's like, I don't go, I never went this long without getting a tattoo. Even if it's a little one or anything, I have not went this long without a tattoo. And it's really bothering me. So, it's like, the tattoo that I want, I want a tattoo on the back of my neck. And I need that to get a little bit lighter so it look right, you know? Like, I'm not dark, clearly. I'm not, like, super, super dark. But I just want it to be, you know, like, I want my neck to look like my arms. Like, I, I want it to brighten up. So my tattoo could look good. Then I got a um, it's called Euphoric Wash, and it promotes healthy pH balance. Okay, hold on. Like I was saying was before that interrupted me. I don't even know how that just cut on. Anyways, so it's called Euphoric Wash, and it promotes healthy pH and everything, and it reduces a lot of stuff. And everything so it's yeah <clears throat> basically it's a it's a feminine wash and I wanted to try it because I like Dove but it's like I like to try new stuff and I do not like to try scented stuff and this is made from natural stuff like it's not all that you know what I'm y'all know what I'm trying to say it's not all that other stuff in there that they be trying to process when they make stuff so I really want to try this and I looked at the reviews and Everything so far is really, really good. Like her product, really, really good. And then really good stuff that just makes you want to buy it. So I'm like, okay, girl, you got my money. Then we're going to get in with the turmeric. It's so cute. I love her packaging. But y'all know what they say about turmeric. Turmeric helps dark marks in everything. And some people will be thinking that it be bleaching your skin, but... I'm going to be the I'm going to be the test of that because you just cannot believe everybody. Sometimes people be wanting to like mess up people's businesses and stuff and I'm like, let me try it for myself. I looked at her reviews. She got like over 10,000 reviews and you know, I started off as a small business with hair and it always it, it grew because somebody believed in me and they actually wanted to test me out and me do their hair. So it's like, why can I not pour that into somebody else? And on top of that, 
her stuff looks good <laughs> so yeah i got a turmeric and a charcoal bar and so this is a natural soap bar for your face you can use it anywhere actually but i'm gonna use it for my face and probably my neck too right along with the brightening wash but yeah um the charcoal is supposed to help reduce my acne and then the turmeric part is supposed to uh lighten up my dark marks so yeah we're definitely going to try that and so yeah and then plus one of my best friends she got a, a turmeric bar and the people that i want to order that from that she ordered from were sold out i really want it now you know like how when you want something you want it now you don't want to see it restock restock be taking a long time like what are what are you doing i wanted it now so yeah and then i got this this oh shit the mesh soap bag that you could literally put the bar soap in and like you could scrub your like your neck and stuff like wherever you want to scrub that you want to lighten up and then so like your soap bar is not just sitting like on a dirty little shower thingy so yeah that's what i got so i got all this came up to like about like 63 dollars so yeah she got my coins and hope it really works 63 dollars just to throw down the drain for something that doesn't really work it's a lot of money to me do you know what i could do with 60 dollars i'm not a type of girl that's going to i'm not a shopping type of girl i'm gonna eat type of girl and even though i don't eat that much i would rather spend my money on food than something that i really need and that's how i am so i really hope it works i got i got faith in this i really do i'm about to show y'all her instagram hold on let me go find it i am so mad i just found her instagram and right now she's having a freaking buy one get one free why didn't you have that when i just bought all this stuff but yeah i know y'all so this is like you see like how she's putting it in the in the bag thing and you could just like scrub it anywhere i don't think i would use the the bag like the scrub bag thingy on my face because my face is so sensitive so i would use my hands for that of course my neck and like my bikini line or whatever i would definitely use that but um i am going to be going to the mall because my mom i know y'all probably like you're always at the mall target or starbucks and it is true i'm not always at the mall but it seems like i am always at the mall and i hate the mall because they don't have shit definitely gotta go to the mall because my mom bought me some bras but she bought me the bras that i don't like so i'm going to return those and I used to update my calendar and everything because at the end of the day, it is the 31st. And this vlog is consisting of a monthly reset. Got my lashes done, my hair and everything. And honestly, y'all, my lashes, they've been holding up pretty good. Like, I actually really love getting eyelash extensions again. It just makes you feel more put together. And I've never liked strips. Like, strips really irritate my eyes. But lash extensions, like, I've really been loving them. I feel like it really just brings out your eyes. Yeah, when I get back home, I don't know if I'm going to film at the mall because I'm trying to really hurry up. But when I get back home, we're going to uh, do a little, yeah, that calendar right there. Got to go. That's July's calendar and August is tomorrow. And honestly, I just got a lot of planning stuff to do anyways because... My baby shower is literally the beginning beginning of september and it's it's just a lot
apologize for the lighting and the shadow like it's just giving real ghetto because I don't know I don't like when my light like my ceiling light has like that orangey type of lighting it's ugly making me look all orange and stuff like mm -mm. but yeah I'm back um I was able to return my bra and get a different bra but luckily I didn't even know that I had rewards for my birthday and I was able to get that one for cheaper so now I like got a whole store credit and all that but um, I'm happy because it's like now you give me another bra but yeah it is currently what time is it 8.47 and me and grandma we went to Popeye's I got me a little six dollar box and Popeye's really be taxing like why do I have to give you 25 cents for some sauce to go with my chicken and my fries like, that you could have gave me it for free for real the strawberry biscuit that I've been hearing about that I realized been wanting to try. Everybody keeps saying like how it's so good. And I'm just like, I wanna try it. So yeah, I'm gonna try it. You see? Mmm. It's actually good. I didn't even think it was gonna be that good because I don't like strawberry flavored stuff. So. I should have me two of these. This is good. Mm -hmm. I'm just about to. I know y'all see me do my little August calendar and everything because, of course, August is literally tomorrow. So, I just really like to have my calendar up when my clients walk in the door so, like, they know, like, yeah, I'm really, I'm on my shit. But, yeah, I know. I've. This food is good. I'm about to just eat my food, watch some YouTube, shower and all that, and call it a night. Pretty tired. Still trying to figure out if I'm going to go back to school this fall, because I kind of don't want to, I don't want to overdo myself. I'm going to talk to y'all in the morning when I'm showing y'all my new skincare and everything, like testing it out on my face in the morning before I have to work. When my client comes, I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. I don't know what's going on with my camera right now. It's I don't know. I dropped it again, and it's looking a little weird. Like, I don't know. But anyways, I know that I told y'all that I was going to show y'all my skincare routine. The last clip that I left off on in this vlog. But I realized that... Oh, shit. Hold on. I got an eyelash. Oh, I can't wait until my new eyelash appointment, y'all. Because I don't know what's going on. It's like... Y'all know when y'all got like a little poke or something. It's not like a poke, but it's like, you could, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. My new skincare routine, I'm going to save that for another vlog for another day. Because I got a lot of content that I've been wanting to do and lined up. So I feel like it would just fit better in a different vlog that I got planned. And no, I'm not telling y'all what it is. But anyways, this is the end of the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Um, I am trying to be more consistent. I mean, I upload every week, but I'm still trying to be consistent and try to still stay in my zone. Because you guys know, just being, like, on this journey that I am on now and, like, entering my third trimester, I really do get tired after I'm done working. And it's like, I still, you know, you gotta follow your dreams and everything. You gotta stay on your grind and you gotta like you know just have your mind set to what you want to do in life so that's what i'm doing and i really love you know i told y'all i love creating videos for you guys so yeah but don't forget to like comment and subscribe